Marcella is my fiance and he lives in Antalya, Turkey. Marcella and I met through a Facebook beekeeping group. He just, I think, saw me and maybe thought I was cute and decided to message me. The flirting started basically immediately. I just think he's this really kind, sweet guy. Very handsome. <laughs> Boom! Marcel is Muslim and he does follow like no drinking, no smoking, take care of your body. And I am from the Midwest, so I enjoy having a drink. <laughs> or two, or three. My friends and family thought I was crazy when I told them that I had met a Turkish guy that I wanted to start to date. Plus, we uh, don't speak each other's language. <laughs> Marcel, you want to work my bees? My bees? When you come, my bees, you need to come to America. and a month or two after we started talking. Marcel asked if I wanted to become more serious. He like said he had a surprise for me on video chat and then showed me this ring that he got me and asked if I'd marry him and I said yes. <laughs> I know it's crazy, it, it really is. And this was before we even met <laughs> in person, so. We had planned a trip to meet each other. Right when I got off the plane and got my luggage, he was outside the door, basically like jumping up and down, <laughs> waiting for me. He gave me the biggest hug ever, and it was just so amazing to finally get to meet him in person. <laughs> when I came back from my trip, I applied for the K-1 visa. Marcel was finally approved and arrives in America next week. I'm so excited, Marcel. Yes? I'm gonna kiss you so much. Chuck. I want to kiss you, Anna. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I have some fears uh, about Marcel coming. I'm worried that him and the boys won't get along. So, are you guys like excited to meet Marcel? Marcel's like. He seems weird. He's like. He seems weird. Why? He doesn't even know English. He's been learning and taking classes, though. What if he doesn't like it here? I don't know. I'm happy to see my mom happy about something like this, but just don't care about Marcel coming. I'm kind of worried about it because I think our life's gonna change like dramatically because how he's probably just gonna like jump on our lives and just like, like he control, control everybody. What if he's not nice to us? I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be nice to you. Why wouldn't he be? They haven't really had a father figure growing up. Um, so I think it's really important that they build a relationship or I don't think I can marry him. You guys just try to be nice to him and give him a chance, okay? <sighs> okay. These 90 days are gonna affect the rest of our lives. You know, whether or not we decide to get married. I have known Anna since the sixth grade. We've grown up together. We've been through a lot of different things together. I would say Anna has made some decisions in her life that haven't come to the best outcome, but I am afraid that this might be her biggest mistake yet. What do the boys think about this relationship? I don't know if Joey's really on board, but... Um, do they um, talk to him a lot on the on They FaceTime? do, when, yeah, when I'm talking to him on video chat, he does. They talk to him, but like... So how does that yeah. work? Because he doesn't speak English and you don't speak Turkish, so how does that work? We can, we speak like basic Turkish and English. Yeah. Yeah. And you can understand what he's saying. Yeah. Like while we're chatting, if like we know we don't understand what we're saying, we'll like type in something and then translate it. <laughs> I think Anna is a little naive on the whole situation. 
and she's got kind of a optimistic look on things and not really thinking about things objectively. Communication is not just words on a screen. It's inflection of your voice, sarcasm, body language. I mean, we, we, we have a lot of fun together and joke around and... But how can you really joke on text, translator? It's not just, you know, when we're together, we can, like, you know, you have your body... But like, it's like the honeymoon when we face. When we FaceTime, we do goofy things. Oh. Hello, Yana. Oh. I love Yana. <laughs> how are you, Yana? Good, how are you? I am good. You're good? Yes. Uh -oh. My name is Mursad. I am from Antalya, Turkey. I am uh, 38. Dünyanın bir ucundan, uh, bir ucuna bir kadınla evlenmek için çılgınca bir evlilik yapmak için Gidiyorum. Your bag. Bagaj. Bagaj. Nerede? Bagaj. <gülüyor> oh, go get it. Git. <gülüyor> He finally got here and I'm so excited. <gülüyor> We've been waiting so long and I'm just so happy he's here. <gülüyor> so, how do you feel right now? Yourself. How do you feel that you're here? I want to kiss you. Here, you can write it in Turkish. <laughs> Customs me. Bilmiyorum. Rotary. What? Ro Rotar. The language barrier is going to be pretty tough. We can have really basic conversations, but if we want to get into a more serious conversation, we do have to use a translator app. Very late. Yes, took people. Uh, two words? No. Uh, bilmiyorum. But the app doesn't always translate correctly. Or I know Marcel tries to just think he knows what I'm saying, even though he doesn't. So it causes some problems with our 